Hi everybody, Missy Billingsley here with a quick video for you tonight on how to hem in the round on a t-shirt. So this hem actually came out of this t-shirt and so I need to replace it. And this could be whether you're needing to hem an, a shirt originally or maybe you're needing to replace a hem. So what I have done, I actually have guidelines on this shirt to follow, but if you didn't have guidelines, this is what you would do. So you could take your shirt and fold up your hem, however much hem that you want. And I'm actually using a Baby Lock Triumph. I have the fabric guide attached to the bed of my machine. I'm also using the open toe foot because I can very easily see up in here where my stitches are going to be falling. So what I've done is I've taken my fabric guide and I've placed it on the bed of the machine. This part right here, that little lever raises up, then you can slide it back and forth. Let me move that out of the way. Slide it back and forth. There we go. Slide it over. And so what I've done is I've taken my shirt and I've actually placed it underneath the foot where I want it to guide. So I'm going to lower my foot down just for placement. I'm going to slide my guide over and just kind of snug it up to where I want my hem to be. This is going to help me guide my fabric so I'll have a nice perfect hem all the way around. So then you're going to raise your press your foot up and I'm going to slide my t-shirt in right side facing up and then I'm going to stitch. As I stitch, which I can kind of cheat on this one actually because I have that previous stitch line, so I'm going to stitch all the way around. I'm set for a cover stitch with um, knit needles, jersey needles in the machine with just a regular serger thread and so I'm going to stitch so since I can actually see these stitching lines I'm going to stitch and guide them right underneath here but I'm also going to let the fabric edge my hem guide right along this edge right here so then as I stitch I may need to help it over that side seam just a little bit there we go just a gentle pull to the back Get your clips out as you go. Of course, reposition your shirt because it's going to be, all the excess is going to be over on the left-hand side. So then go ahead and stitch all the way around. Notice how my fabric is able to guide along this little wall right here and is able to help keep it nice and straight. So when I finish, I'll have a nice pretty hem. It'll be nice and straight and very easily done. Again, when you get to the side seam, just help it over a little bit. Just a gentle pull from the back is going to help it over that heavier seam. So I'm just getting my clips out as I go. We're going to stitch all the way around. And this will also be how you can finish up a seam in the round and also how to tie it off with a cover stitch. Because if you'll see what this is doing is it's catching on the back side. It's catching the edge of my fabric which is perfect. Alright so we're getting back around to the beginning and when we get back to the beginning of our stitching Here's where our stitching started. I can see the threads. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and reach in here and clip those threads away. And I'm going to continue stitching. And as I stitch, I'm going to watch my threads. And my needles are actually in number two and number three. And I'm going to guide so that the, that stitching line lines up right underneath two and three. I can also see it right up in here. And this is where I'm gonna stitch very slowly and stitch over just a half inch or so. Okay, once you get to that half inch or so mark, you're gonna raise your needles, raise your presser foot. I'm gonna take my Allen wrench, I'm gonna raise the toe of the foot and swipe from back to front and grab those needle threads. Once you grab those needle threads, then you can go ahead and cut them. And I'm going to pull straight back. When I pull straight back, what that's going to do is that's going to then pull my needle threads from the top to the bottom 
and it's going to give me the threads that I can now tie off. So I would then tie these off in a knot and um, finish up that quick little hem that I needed to fix on a t-shirt and there you go. How quick and easy was that to give you a nice beautiful professional looking hem that will work on any of your knit fabrics. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thanks so much.